Okay, this is the second video prepared uh, around this kind of tooth uh, enterprise. And we have gotten it to the point where, in effect, we have made something with a block. There's your block there. Remember, you made it on layer 0. And then you, in effect, change the layer to something else, which I don't think I necessarily did. I just changed the color. So um, I we wanted those all to be on layer tooth. All right, so I'm going to go back here and just see exactly what I did. So layer 0 is supposed to be always, usually generally keep it set at, at a color of, of, of white. So I'm going to go back to here and see how I screwed up. I'm going to go right there and change that back to that white which is essentially black on a screen so there we're going to double check which layer cancel here i didn't want to close that out this layer managers is really a weird one to close we'll figure out a better way but right there on the left side so we let's we'll see what layer those are on i list them click on it say li for list they are actually put on layer zero which is not what i wanted so i can now go ahead and select here's a great little command for you and that is Q select. Quick select will give me, I can look in my entire drawing object type, um, a block reference where the name equals tooth. And now that just grabbed everything. Now I can go right click properties and change all of those to the correct layer. In other words, you define your blocks on layer 0, but you put them on the layer that you want them to be. The color and all the other things will come then from the, um, from the destination layer. So we're going to see if that worked. Hit, hit here. And hard to tell except for the fact, because I didn't set my layering up correctly, I'm going to go back here now and show you that I probably should have made tooth as something a little more scary. So we'll make that magenta for now. All right, so we're going to close that out. So now I've got things kind of on proper layers as much as I can think about it. I've got the teeth on a particular layer. They were drafted on layer zero. I've got some extra lines on here that very often you might want to get rid of or um, when you're done with the drawing or put them on a layer, a construction line layer or something like that. I'm just going to erase this one out here, E for erase. And I'm going to show you now, as we did before, how you go about uh, changing this tooth and and not just changing perhaps its shape but also something else about it like the layer on which it some of those lines are residing because we designed it on layer zero because that's what we generally do but we can change the layer and some of the other things that um, we do with uh, with it with uh, within a block so I'm going to do a great command so we can see this as we start playing around slightly with three command or 3d v ports Okay, I'm going to make two viewports. We're going to be looking at the same thing. But over here in one of these viewports, I'm going to hit, and I'm going to right-click over here now and bring up all my toolbars and bring up the view toolbar. And I'm going to point out that that one has got a lot of power and some downside to it. But I'm going to click over here and bring up what's called an isometric view so I can see this one from a different direction than I do this one here. And now I'm going to say the command B edit and hopefully that's it block edit it's edit a block um, we'll look for that one that's kind of an important one we're gonna go into the tooth here and hit OK and see that it brings us into this kind of new interface um, and we can deal with layering in the things I like them here so I have this kind of closed that's a closed polyline we could make it a region perhaps or we could just do something like a 3d face which is really not a 3D face. In this case, it's a 2D face. We can do th all kinds of different commands, but we're going to put that on a layer now because we want it to start taking color. We're going to put it in the in-living color layer. And sooner or later, we're going to actually do something that's going to give this stuff opacity and some color. So that's the kind of the drill for today is to, to do these designs. If you remember the B poly, that was one thing we could do. We could do a B poly right away. Or, and then we can do uh, a, a, either a hatch or a 3D solid or a, a solid. And so I'm going to introduce you to the uh, the B poly and the hatch again. This will all be an in living color. I'm going to say B poly. I'm going to 
pick my point right inside, it fills that up, and now it's line on top of line, if you remember. And now another great command is B hatch, and this is going to be for putting color. We're going to use all kinds of different hatches, and we'll play around with that, but it's Halloween, so we want to give this thing some color. We're going to give the pattern, we're going to make it solid because we want it to plot, and we're going to make the swatch. Instead of by layer, we can select a color, and I'm going to pick something Halloween-y here. So we're doing this with a B with a B poly, and we're going to select our objects. We're going to grab our tooth there, hit a return there. We can hit a preview, and we can enter to accept. And then when we're finally done, we can close the block editor. And we can save the changes to the tooth, and you see right away this has actually gone and colorized that. Now, we can do that. In this case, we've done that with every individual tooth. They're all the same. Eventually, what you can do is you can explode the tooth and then change the color. So I'll show you how to do that. Once you've really got the tooth the way you want it, you can actually do something called an explode. That's going to take it into sub-pieces. So X, I'll start on the top. I'm going to grab that one there. And now I've just exploded that. So that is no longer, right, that is no longer... Um, a block, if I list it, LI, you see it's just a polyline with some color in it. And realistically, we really don't want the layer zero around, so we can go back here and really freeze out that layer zero. And it should, well, we don't want it to be the current. We're going to go back in living color. I'm going to hit close here. We're going to make something else the, the current layer and then freeze the zero layer. Now, if you remember, that zero layer kind of was something we just kind of did because we wanted to always draft on layer zero to make things the universal chameleon. Well, now I've got here, I can go ahead and right click properties, hopefully. And one of those properties probably would be, if you see here, you've got the color of the object and eventually you start to have the color of the, um, of the uh, hat. So I don't know that we can do here, but we can do this hatch edit and I can select my hatch object yeah it did not have associated blocks bummer I'm gonna say cross for everything uh, and it did now it did grab it so I can grab so you're gonna have to we'll play around with how we do that in class but the fact that you can use hatch edit to edit some hatch um, and how that hatch comes about we'll be working on a little bit a lot of that we're gonna do it's done automatically um, but it's really great for dealing with color. Uh, the solid hatch or the 3D um, solid, or I'm sorry, 3D shape um, or a 2D flat shape is great for dealing with color. We'll see later in class why. But I can go ahead now to change the color in this one. Select a color here. And I'm going to make that green. And then I hit preview and then OK. And I, what I did, remember, I exploded, so I grabbed something. You want to really be aware of when explode is good and when it's not. You don't explode dimensions, but in this case, I can grab that. I can hit X for explode, right? And then I can kind of go B, edit. I'm sorry, hatch, edit. And that's because it's just kind of hard sometimes. I'm going to grab a cross, select my hatch object, right? I'm going to grab it by cross, C for cross, right across there. And it let me jump to that, change the color again, select color. And in this case, you can kind of pick any color you want. Because it's on in living color, my hope is that this will change the tooth. Now, you don't have to do it this whole hog. I just want to see that you can actually explode a block and then edit that block. Because as soon as you explode it, it is no longer like the rest. Finally, I will show you that with, remember, B edit or block edit. I can go to tooth here, hit OK here. If we go back to here again, all right, we can try to add that kind of, I'll just add a couple lines here because I screwed up with the coloring. And I did my lines. My lines came in in whatever layer they were in. I could put them in living color. That's not a bad thing. I could put them in zero. I can close my block editor, save the changes to the tooth. And if you notice, the, these two did not change. So that's about what we got. I'll be playing with these in 3D and showing you where the next step is. But that's 20 minutes. I hope you watched. 
Uh, next time I'm going to start monitoring, so hope you're all prepared for Halloween. Thanks for listening.